Hi guys, in one of my previous videos on a completely different subject I did mention that I was going to replace the wings on this glider. Uh, if I can dig out the bit of video I'll insert it here somewhere and while I'm at it I'll probably cut out some foam to replace the wings on my glider here. This is the one that I made using the fiberglass spars from a kite. It does have rather an excessive dihedral, so I'm thinking of taking the wings off, replacing them, because I damaged these trying to put some heat shrink plastic on them, and I'll use a graf uh, graphite carbon fibre spar to go straight across and reduce that dihedral, probably have it flat with um, polyhedral tips. This was originally made from a fiberglass kite frame. So the main spar goes up through the middle and then you can just see the black uh, joint there that the side spars stick out this way. And one of the problems with this glider was it had too much dihedral. So, apart from the fact that I damaged the wings trying to fit um, heat shrink plastic over them to strengthen them, I also had this problem where I had too much dihedral. So what I'm going to do here is I've got another kite spar here. I'm going to drill out that bracket, or whatever we want to call it, connector so that I can push this spar right the way through to try and make it fairly flat and then I'll have um, tip dihedral or yes tip dihedral at the end of this spar so the middle should be fairly flat and then we've got a little bit of tip dihedral and we'll see if that makes it work any better uh, I'm not sure what diameter this particular piece of glass fibre is, or fiberglass, but it's just a tiny bit thicker than the original spars, because I've just tried pushing it into that existing hole and it doesn't fit. So this should be just a little bit stronger, so it shouldn't flex quite so much. Anyway, I'm doing something completely different, but I just thought I'd show you that while I've got the bits and pieces on the desk here. I may not have explained clearly enough what I was talking about there. The original spars were one either side, two separate sections, and the black joiner in the middle there had a um, block in the middle, so you could only push the spar in to the centre. You couldn't push it all the way through, so that's why I've just drilled it out. So now I can push that one all the way through and get it horizontal in line with the tail. Then I'll put, fit the wings back on again. Just a bit of an update. You can see I'm putting the wings back together here. Putting it all together using Gorilla Glue. That's the stuff that foams up as it cures. Well, moving on a bit. Got the wings back on. If anything, they've got a very tiny bit of negative dihedral at the moment. And then we've got the tips with tip dihedral. And I've rubbed the front of the foam down to give us the front edge and sanded the back down to give us a little bit of an airfoil shape. There's also where the spar goes up, it's actually folded or bent over that point there so that's about uh, slightly less than a third of the way back. Uh, other than that it's all back together so we should be able to put a battery on it and see if it still works. We have a nice day to try and fly it. It was originally intended to be a discus launch glider. I'm not sure if I can still do that with the tip dihedral. I could 
just try throwing it or maybe even putting a hook underneath it and bungee launch it. We'll see when the weather improves a bit.